Another part of Christmas are the wonderful smells. You have the pine tree, you have the cinnamon, and then also you have cloves. So I remember making these as a child. Orange and cloves pomanders. And they are so easy to make and incredibly relaxing. And I think they look wonderful. Hanging from a, a mantelpiece or just in a bowl on your Christmas table. So they are very easy to do. An orange, average size orange, and a handful of cloves. And some ribbon. Now, a good tip is to mark where you want the ribbon to go before you actually start putting the cloves in. Otherwise, you're never going to get the ribbon in and you'll end up having to take out half your cloves. And don't worry, this will be hidden by your ribbon. Just gives you an indication of where not to stick your cloves. So you divide it into four, that's where your ribbon's gonna go. And then just leave a little gap either side of that line and just start sticking your cloves in. Now, you might have seen different ones where, they, where they're quite artistic and they just put a line of cloves around the middle and leave a lot of orange showing. That is fine if you want your finished pomanda only to last for no more than a week. But unless you cover it with cloves, the orange does start to shrivel. So you want to get them in really nice and tight. Ah, oh, and you can smell the orange and the cloves. I love doing this in front of a fire or just in front of the telly. And it's a lovely thing to do because you can just do it with some friends and, and chat away and it's really very peaceful. So I could go on and do all this, but luckily I've done one already. So this one is now covered with cloves, really quite nice and tight, but I've left a nice band for the ribbon. Take your length of ribbon, put that through. Sometimes you have to squeeze it between some of the cloves. Turn it round. You're literally just twisting over. This now will become my bottom of my pomander. And just getting that around, hold that in place. Turn that up. Tie a knot at the top, just like that. So I'm going to do a double knot because then it gives me the option to decide what I want to do with the string later, whether I want to keep it hanging like that or else do a little bow on like that, which I think looks quite pretty if you're just going to then put them on your Christmas table like that. There we go. Christmas pomander for the smell of Christmas.